Hello guys, welcome to General Shave. Uh, coming to you from Germany today, uh, from the uh, city of Nuremberg, famous for the Nuremberg Ring, of course, and for the Nuremberg Trials. But enough of that. Yeah, I went to it's on my way back from Austria, back over to, uh, heading into Holland tomorrow, crossing the North Sea tomorrow night, back home for a couple of nights, and back into Austria. So, busy, 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 busy. Busy September, which is good, because soon things are gonna get quiet. Okay, today, razor of choice. Oh, see a little uh, mark on the cheek there? Do you remember last video? I just caught myself of the uh, artist club, clever artist club, right on the cheekbone it is. So that, that's, that's how sharp those feathers are. If you ever using a feather AC blade, it's sharp. Talk about feather blades, I'm using one today. A normal DE blade, a double edged feather. The razor of choice for today is going to be one of my favourite travelling companions, and that is the Razorine Flat Boy. Not Fat Boy, I'm the Fat Boy, this is the Flat Boy. Called Flat Boy because if you look at the profile of the blade there, it's dead flat. As flat as a pancake. It's actually a Razorine version 3. The side handle cut off and a regular handle placed so it's more like a, a regular DE. It's a uh, different angle, different shape feel, very very unique, one of my favourites. So it's brass head, nickel coated by John June, he doesn't do any uh, coating anymore unfortunately. Handles stainless steel. Okay, soap, it's going to be I'm just loving the Rex Supply Company soaps. Uh, I can't wait for the next one to come out. But today's going to be 1966. 1966. All World Tallow. This, to my nose, citrusy, bergamot, woodsy, spicy. Gorgeous. Nice and soft. It's. Uh, I'd say this is more like a cream and a tub. It's very, 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 very soft. A cream and a tub. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it, I would say. Right, so, first of all, before I blather up, yeah, I'm not cutting it short, I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all today. There's the feather blade. Just unwrap it. Now, the only problem with the feathers I find is all about gloopy glue spots it's uh, the, the glue is really heavy on them so i find you got to clamp a raise down really hard um, i'm having a job actually on doing the wrapper there you are see see the gloopy the glue spots on the feather there why do you have to put so much glue on god only knows so i'll just put me a little feather thing in there a little feather thing Okay, remove the handle, and you can see on the base, solid brass made in Italy, with Giovanni. Okay, top of the base plate, and the underside of the top plate. Was it this guy called the? Uh, Dave Cunniff, he doesn't like this razor he, for this reason. He says the posts are too small and it can be awkward loading the blade. That was certainly true of version one, but versions two and three, the Razorini Pre Premium, not the case. It loads very, very easily. There we go. First attempt. It's all nicely aligned. Blade's very, very snug in this version 3. It does sing a lot. I don't like a singing blade. Okay. Stop talking crap, Jim. Okay. Into the top. And you, this is, see how soft that is? It's really, really soft. 
It's a cream for all intents and purposes. And it's a nice cream too. You see the oil coming to the surface of the soap? Get out. And we'll just put that into the bottom of my travelling bowl. My Chinese noodle bowl, which costs about a quid or two quid or something like that. I know it was some insignificant amount. Got a little tiny base in here, so it's quite nice actually. Uh, tap with water. Brush has been soaking in there, and it's my Simpsons Tea Free. One of the best off the peg brushes you can probably get. Nice knot, nice chunky angle. Oh. Been thinking, I've got to, uh, I've got to clear out some soaps, some soap sticks. Long ago, I had some scents that I just couldn't get along with, and I actually just binned a lot of them. There was some I put to one side, and I thought, well, maybe, maybe I've grown to like it. And uh, I haven't reached for them since, so I'm thinking another offloading is due. So I'm thinking at some time in the point, in the future, at some point in the future, perhaps. A giveaway. A 10,000 subscriptions giveaway. <laughs> maybe maybe 2,000, I'm over halfway. That'll probably take a couple of years, mind. They're up 1,530 now, I think, at the last count. And we're lowering away. Then you get a nice scent, it's such a, a joy to lather. Just dipping the tips, little at a time. And I like to go until the lather tries to climb out the bowl. As it's doing now, press the bush, bush down into the base. Lather's trying to climb out the bowl. That's pretty much done for me. There we go, lovely, shiny. Hey, wet the whiskers. Whiskers feel quite stiff. Only got about 24 hours ago, I think. Yeah, 24, <clears throat> 30 at the most. It's been a really short day today. So I left, uh, left Austria. I've really only had like four and a half hour drives to get here. <clears throat> Which isn't good for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna have uh, about eight hours. Mm. Oh, but it's already, isn't it? I never had been hoteled up any closer to uh, the docks in Holland when I'm sailing one tomorrow. If I'd been any closer, they'd probably have me doing something stupid like a city visit to Cologne or somewhere like that. Or some other such place. So I'd have a nightmare journey. I'd have a nightmare job. Whatever way it went really. Nothing's made easy. Let's get that out of the chest. Nice. Yeah, so I'm uh, going to wash this shit. Well, not, I'm not going to wash it too quick because I'm uh, going to have a steady shave and have a look around Nuremberg itself. What a nice tune she plays, doesn't she? Now, where's that? I don't want to. I didn't want to a lava up that high for that reason. Great for getting right under the nostrils, this uh, flat boy.
All right, she's singing away. There's a different angle to maintain, but it's easy found. No problem whatsoever. Scrape and burnt toast. Sounds like straight razor, doesn't it? Like a hollow ground straight razor. It is, this razor, the, the uh, flat boy, comes most places with me. He likes to get around, he does. <laughs> Lovely. Works very, very well with the feather. Very well indeed. Feels very smooth. My favourite blade with the Razorini or the Flat Boy is actually the uh, Kai. With it being a little bit wider. It adds just a little bit more aggression. Efficiency. Aggression. It's just a, such a silly word, isn't it? Aggression. An aggressive razor. What's it going to do? Jump up? Spop you on the nose? Give you a black eye? No. It's going to give you a damn good shave. That's what it's going to do. Aggressive razor. Efficient. <laughs> spread the slickness. Spread the joy. Spread the sick. Sl oh, there goes a towel on the floor. Yeah, so I'm actually going to get half a weekend. This weekend, I'm actually going to get Saturday at home. But it'll be a short lived Saturday because I don't know for a fact they'll be starting work about 2 a.m. Sunday morning. So what all I wanted to do back in to do. So Saturday I won't be on the Raz. Probably going to Bob Oaks early. Sorry, pick this towel up. Yep. Now we go for the cross to green. Just shave the dome prior to uh, the facial shave. There's not a lot left for the uh, razor to shit the flat boys to shave off here. As you can tell by the sound. I'm gonna go and dig at the old uh, gozy. Wow. <laughs> As you know, a side of the moustache is normally a struggle for me. Not today. Not today. Does give me one of my closest shaves, the uh, flat boy and the razorini. Prefer the flat boy to the actual razorini for ease of use. 
and I'm going the wrong way. I'm going across, not up, not against yet. Oh, little red bit there, look. That's a point to win to get any, oh, I'm losing a pot. So I went against the grain there, when it should have been across the grain, and it just breezed it, it breezed it. I'm actually uh, a little bit worried driving through Germany, so I've got most of tomorrow to drive, uh, uh, driving through Germany also, as I did today. And uh, in Germany, we're supposed to carry a special tax certificate to say that our vehicles registered for road tax and it'll be getting recorded on the AMPRs for the tax reasons and what have you. Now the German Zoll, Border Guards, Zoll, Customs, whatever you want to call them, they can stop us at any time, and I've been stopped quite a lot in over, in the, over the years. And if we don't have this particular paperwork, it's uh, a massive fine And the fine is determined by the amount of kilometres you're actually driving through Germany. Now, I haven't got that paperwork with me. Somebody's borrowed it out the uh, paperwork pocket and I didn't check. So I'm going out to Austria, didn't bother me because I didn't check. So I wasn't worried. Whilst in Austria, I checked for some stupid reason, and uh, I discovered I didn't have this certificate. There's paperwork, and uh, I've got a lot of miles to drive through Germany. Hell of a lot. So if they catch me, it's gonna be a massive, massive fine. Which is silly, because that's a, it is. The vehicle's registered for tax. Just bureaucracy gone mad. So basically the German authorities will get the uh, money from the fines and the money from the tolls. So, not to worry, it's not coming out of my pocket. Oh, this is a sweet smell. Yeah, I'm, look I'm looking forward to uh, 1977 coming out. No doubt we'll have a 1988, 1999. It's got a stop, hasn't it? Uh, what are we going to have? We'll have a 2011, 2022. So 2022 will have to be the last one. Unless to use a different naming system. Send would you use for 2022? Cheesecake. Yeah, it'd have to replicate the vaping as opposed to smoking, wouldn't it? So a tobacco scent would give away to a uh, vaping sense. Strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, since it's all stone bits. I won't be able to upload this video straight away because I haven't started uh, answering comments from the last one yet. I did have Wi-Fi in my last hotel in Austria, but it kept dropping the signal. But 
I'll be trying to watch YouTube and next minute the wheel will appear and fuck, drop the signal again. I had to fucking knock it off and re sign in. Exquisite. Oh, nothing left there. But well, that's where I accidentally went against the grain, didn't I, on the last pass? So I'm going to stop picking absolutely nothing now. Very nice. Whoops, Daisy. Whoops, Daisy. Tremendous slickness. Just skating along. Got a bit of a sting, it's a sting, I'm got a bit of a sting on the neck there. That's a savage feather, I suppose. A little bit of a uh, Blood spot showing there in my usual places in the corner of the mouth, corner of the mouth, corner of the gob, corner of the big gob. Okay, roots. Very slick. Yeah, I'm getting uh, I'm getting sting off the water. <laughs> oh, just borrow that razor. Got a bit here. I didn't borrow that razor, it's mine. I've got to borrow my own razor, idiot. Oh, got some shit. Sing was about to overload them. Sorry for the uh, four letter expletive. <laughs> Lovely. All set for me uh, walking on Jordanberg now. After six nights in the Alp. Alpine mountains. I prefer seeing her in the Alpine mountains though. Oh, much better. Stunning. Gorgeous. What a shave. Shave and a half, boy. Shave and a half. Let's just wash. Can you see the two tone here? This is the uh, oily part of the splash. Helps the service for that reason. Give it a good old shake. Shake it, take the top off, and I like to just give it one more with the finger over the restrictor. So at the last minute, make sure I've got a good mix. Oh, gee Christy God. That is, <laughs> that was a sting and half, I tell you. I don't normally get a a big sting like that with the uh, flat boy or razorini that's down that's down to the feather definitely down to the feather blade that shocked me that shocked me that did great shave though great shave i'm gonna put just a little bit more on this smells more citrusy more orangey as opposed to uh, bergamotty tangerini very nice indeed very nice. I'm relatively happy with that. Quite happy with that. Okay, fellas. Razor today. Razorini Flat Boy from Italy. Blade in there. It's a feather on its first use. The Japanese Ninja. So for today, was the Rex Supply Company 1966. Another gorgeous offering from the Rex Supply Company. Brush was the Simpson T3. Lava was whipped up in my uh, Chinese soup bowl. And we were all finished off with the matching aftershave splash. Very orangey, lovely. Yeah, skin feels great. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. Stay safe. Thanks for all your recent likes, subs, comments. I appreciate you all. Okay, guys, stay safe. See you further down the line. Bye-bye now.